Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly tarot reading. I'm back. I had a couple of weeks off with family. Um, I just needed to reset and refresh and I'm feeling much better and really looking forward to bringing you plenty of tarot readings now. Just to let you know guys, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. All the links are below the video and also the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading for yourself. I am available for those and distance healing, healing sessions as well. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share the video, hit the subscribe button before you head off guys. I would be so grateful for that. It really helps the videos travel further. So I'm wishing you a week full of love and magic. Let's head to your reading. Hi there Pisces, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive reading for June 14th through to the 20th. Pisces, I hope you're doing really well. I'm back after a couple of weeks off and feeling refreshed and ready to bring you plenty of reading. So let's get into this one. Getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. Then be going to the Moon Child Tarot for a lead tarot energy, then using the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot Akashic for your tarot positions. All right, oracles are out. Pisces, we've got Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystical Teacher. Some of you might be feeling that energy within yourself, beginning to feel your intuition and trust that inner guidance. Or you might be seeking uh, other Priestesses, priests, mystics, teachers, tarot readers, psychics, oracles. How are you watching this reading? So you might be kind of starting to use those kind of guidance systems in your life. And I've got Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. So this is a card of liberation. Maybe you are recognizing a pattern that you've been playing out. Maybe getting clear on something from within your shadow side and it's by shining light on it or acknowledging it that we can begin to heal it and then we actually change our life path because by transmuting that energy and changing your frequency you're going to be putting a different vibration out there Pisces and that is what actually um uh, influences what is magnetized back towards you so I'm feeling some kind of shifting of energy maybe some of you are completing a karmic cycle or karmic contract and anytime we do that it's like sliding doors right we we close one door and another one opens for us we send a strong message to the universe that we are finished with that situation now I've got that card out Pisces, it is actually your minor arcana, the Knight of Cups. But talking of sliding doors, guys, the Knight of Cups is also a big card of opportunity. It is sometimes an offer, an invitation or a proposal coming in for you. Yeah, it can also be known as that Knight in Shining Armor card because what is coming in for you is the Ace of Cups. Now that can come in many different um, shapes, sizes and packages. The Ace of Cups can be this massive increase in, in our self-love. It can be a trans transformation internally maybe from releasing the soul contract. It can also be, it could be something from the workplace coming in as well, a new offer that promises not only to, you know, look after us financially and all of those kind of things, but bring us fulfillment. So we've got an offer of fulfillment coming in, uh, depending on what life area for you, you will need to relate it to your own situation here, Pisces, but sometimes the cards clearly do um, show one way or another. So let's go to the tarot. Calling in, there was the high priestess showing, energy of the recent past. Energies leaving, completing, or transitioning in your life. If this is your reading, seven of cups. Yep, that's the energy we're leaving behind, guys. Confusion. Maybe living in a bit of a dream world. Current or focus energy, yeah, but it is judgment time over that cycle. We're not going back around for another round, I don't think. Let's get the outcome, okay. King of Pentacles, beautiful. King energy there. 
Taurian energy for me. Oh, we've got a nine of swords over here. We'll get the clarifiers. King of Pentacles again. All right. There could be a key player here. It's generally Taurian energy, but it just stands for, it can be like a, a father, father-in-law, husband, a kind of boss energy, whether it's male or female, it, it really is somebody who's in that kind of authoritarian mode. Well, cards are going everywhere. I've got three of cups and the page of cups. Interesting. Let me just clarify that king of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. So this is the new opportunity coming in. Uh, the king of pentacles. Let's clarify the one down here. Four of Pentacles, King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, right, I am actually feeling more of a kind of a abundance, career, work type of energy here, I must say, even with the Knight of Cups here. Um, I really think this signifies you coming to power in some way through the situation here, uh, Pisces. Now, what I'm kind of sensing here is that you may have had some kind of offer come in for you, maybe to step up into a leadership position or a team leader, supervisor, maybe to go into your own business, could be real estate for some of you. And <clears throat> I feel like that the fear has kind of kicked in, right? Let's start getting the cards up. King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles. And I'm really feeling this journey towards, you know, the confidence and courage to, to take this up. I think some of you are, have this fear of this, this past pattern. Maybe you haven't, you've given it a go before and, and it hasn't been successful. Maybe, you know, you have a belief that uh, people in your family line don't become, you know, business people, bosses, mentors, and managers. There is some kind of fear around accepting this opportunity. And I think you're, you're worried that you're kind of living into a fantasy here. The Seven of Cups is the energy of confusion and the kind of fear around, um, will I be able to make this happen? Or is this just kind of another fantasy that I'm buying into? That's what I'm sensing. You're thinking this opportunity's come up, but am I the one that's really going to be able to materialize it? I hope it's not just all an illusion. I hope it's not all just dreams, hopes, and wishes is what I'm really feeling. And that drives the fear, right? Four of Pentacles is the, okay, well, maybe I'll just continue playing small. I'll just hold on to the old. It's what I know. Yeah, but the cards are saying it's actually time for you to be unbound, for you to be liberated, for you to rise up. And with three kings in your energy here, Pisces, plus your Knight of Cups card, it's like this is your time to step into a higher, like a higher vibrational position into king energy, which is about knowing how to use your authority, whether you're male or female, knowing how to wield your masculine energy, which is your energy of, you know, taking comfortably what's rightly yours, maybe an opportunity, maybe, you know, stepping into abundance, leading others, knowing how to be dominant when you need to, to call the shots, to be clear and direct, to honor your yes and no. And it's all around um, as well, building the abundance that you feel that like you deserve for your life. And I'm kind of feeling that there might be or may have been a negative money story running through your family line before. And that's what you are actually uh, breaking free of and actually becoming, um, acknowledging that you are worthy. You are really worthy of, uh, you know, great success is what I'm feeling. The King of Swords is, you know, getting that clarity, beginning to see the big picture here. I can be successful, I can rise above, I am good enough for this opportunity, I can start this business. You know, the King of Swords is somebody who is seeing the big picture, seeing how you may have been held back before by your past beliefs, and making the strategic move forward now that you need to claim your victory. King of Swords is about victory, Six of Wands, which you have in your reading, is about victory. You know, this is victory over the past that transforms your life in some way, right? This is Aquarian energy, Taurian energy, so you might be dealing with those um, zodiac signs. Now, the focus of the week is judgment. 
final judgment, guys. This is the second to last major arcana. And it really says, look, are you going to go around for another cycle of the past? Or are you going to shift this across to world energy, the last major arcana, which is about, you know, closing the door on a karmic cycle, right? You've learned the lessons, everything that you needed to from that, that past contract. Maybe you, you had a lesson to learn about stepping into your power or knowing your that your worthiness of abundance, that kind of thing. Whatever it is here, you are releasing a pattern, Pisces, that has held you constricted or, or bound. I always say it's the devil energy in these small boxes that these people are liberating themselves from right so that devil energy could be it could be an, a debt pattern for some of you as well um yeah some of you might have had addictions that kind of and addictions come in many different forms spending you know drugs alcohol overeating overspending all those kind of things that stop us from from really generating abundance that's coming up as a key theme in this reading so you're having an awakening i need to make some big changes here, close the door, I'm being guided somewhere else, new opportunities are coming in, and this time I'm going to make a huge success of it. Six of Wands, yeah, we're coming out of that darker time, coming into brighter times, victory, higher self-confidence, believing in yourself now, and others are going to really see that in you. Six of Wands is that energy of leading others you know somebody who is commanding the attention of others as well so some of you are shining really bright stepping up within your team maybe being noticed in some way noticed as a leader maybe being noticed as a leader uh, or influencer on social media or being noticed in in your workplace as the one that is ready ready for the next step that's what i'm sensing here so yeah, look at this, guys. The opportunities all over this reading. King of Pentacles again brings the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and Three of Cups. Yeah, so very clearly here we have a opportunity coming in for you, but it's represented by the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So it's the start of a new journey for you. It's not going to necessarily go, you know, from zero to 100 in the space of a week, but you're being offered this opportunity. It could be about like management training even. You don't become that this week, but it's clear that you've been offered the first step on the path. The Page of Cups could be that it was an unexpected, um, unexpected opportunity or a surprise for you. The Page of Cups can be that energy that comes out of nowhere that offers you that cup, right? That piece of fulfillment that maybe you didn't even know you were missing. The Page of Cups can be uh, an opportunity that you kind of weren't really, I said it before, but you weren't expecting, like maybe you didn't really think that you would ever step into a role like this or take an opportunity like this, but it's presented itself and it's like, well, why not? Because it's too good of opportunity to, to pass up because you know that it can help you generate real growth in your life the the nine of just to acknowledge the nine of swords over here you are really going to have to overcome your own mind here your own limitations pisces this can be the stress that kicks in first of all we get really excited there's a new opportunity here and then the mind kicks in and goes oh but maybe you're not you, you're not experienced enough educated enough the right age um you don't have the credentials you don't have the confidence. It's all the fears that come up to consume us. We're really going to have to stay out of that energy because otherwise it's going to bring, you know, your energy down and others are going to be able to perceive that you that you don't believe in yourself and you can't expect others to believe in you if you're guiding others when you don't believe in yourself. So the Ace of Pentacles here it says, you know, this is the opportunity to plant new seeds in your life that are going to lead to security abundance stability so this is the beginning i feel of you really getting it together in your life right maybe for some of you this could even be the journey into like buying a new home as well because the king of pentacles has a strong link to real estate so there could be an opportunity either a job's come in that's going to allow you the income to get that house deposit or maybe some of you are taking that step right the three of cups says that it's this opportunity 
it will deliver the the fruitful abundant harvest to you but in the next season and of course in 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 spiritual terms the next season could be next year it could be in a few months time but it's saying that if you plant the seeds wisely if you take up on the opportunities and you invest in them and you nurture them like this king of pentacles does just with the single pentacle the king of pentacles knows not to overlook a small opportunity or offer because he or she can expand or grow that into all of this beautiful success here as well so the three of cups says that you will be celebrating the abundant harvest in time but this is the time to like there's a time to sow and a time to reap and this is your time to sow and you should not overlook even the smallest of opportunities because they uh, potentially are going to bear the biggest fruit Okay, Pisces, well, I'm going to leave it there, and I hope you found this reading helpful and it gave you some guidance for the journey ahead. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It may or may not be for you this time around. Drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I read them all, guys. Try to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you, connect with your energy, and see what the collective themes are. It's been a pleasure to read your cards, Pisces. I will see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.